Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Marion. Give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while, and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, my new Sun and G brushes are here, and I cannot wait to play with them. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these brushes, and if I think they're worth your money, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my lovelies, before I put these brushes into action, let's talk real quick. So Sonia G announced that she's coming out with a new set. I was super excited until I saw it. <laughs> I was still excited, but this set comes with six different brushes and three out of the six are fan brushes. I'm not a huge fan of fan brushes. <laughs> this is the only fan brush I have in my entire brush collection. This is from the Samantha and uh, Sigma collaboration. I've used this maybe three times and every time I'm just like, oh, I can do without, I don't need this. That's only one fan brush. This set has three of them. So for me, it just did not make sense to purchase the full set at $365. <laughs> That's a lot of moolah, you know? So I decided, which I'm so glad, that she is selling all the brushes individually to only pick up the other three. Yeah, that's what we're going to use today. As you can see, I have a blank canvas. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, my lovelies. So let's get started with these three brushes. Uh, I think I'm just going to give you the details of each brush as I'm using it. We're going to start with this one here, which is the classic cheek. And here is what the brush looks like. And then there is the handle. Okay, so the Fundamental Classic Cheek. It retails for $55 on its own. There is like, it's windy and there's so many clouds outside covering the sun, so apologies. It is also later on in the day, so yeah. Okay, so the Fundamental Classic Cheek features the highest level of versatility when it comes to size, airiness, and density. The fluffy brush with medium density pairs well with many products and can handle nearly every task from finishing and bronzing to blush, powder, setting, highlighting, and sculpting. The versatile universal brush offers scalable precision and intensity thanks to its size and shape. Okay, and this is a little note from Miss Sonia G. If you don't know which brush to start with or give to someone, this one has the most potential because of its versatility. So the curved ferrule makes it easy to apply blush, bronzer, contour, or highlight with precision and intensity. The sturdy handle is made from delicate yet durable walnut wood, and it's finished without lacquer so you can see the grain and feel the wood. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Okay, so each brush is uh, hand bound by master artisans in Japan using traditional brush making techniques for unparalleled performance and craftsmanship. Originally released in the mini Keiyaki set in 2020. I don't think I got that set. I don't think the mini Keiyaki set that I purchased is from 2020. I think it's from a different year. Honestly, I don't Okay, so the hair type is dyed white Saikoho goat hair. Okay, so it's all goat hair. It is so windy outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, so I don't have too many powder contours. Now, I am no Sonia G expert. I know there is quite a bit of huge Sonia G fans, so don't take it to offense if I say something wrong, incorrect, whatnot. I believe that the brushes that are a mix of white and dyed hair, these you can use for both cream and powder. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know down below. But I'm already powdered, so we're just going to work with powders today. Okay, so I am going to, I don't have too many powder contours, but 
the Kevin Aquan and the Marc Jacobs are a little bit more on the neutral side and pull a little bit more of a contouring shade on my skin tone. The Kevin Aquan, I have it in Sunrise Light, which is the lightest shade out of the three. And this is the Tantastic Bronzer. I think that's the shade, honestly, but it's a very neutral shade. So let's go ahead and use this. I did already clean my brushes. They feel so soft. I do enjoy how soft Sonia G brushes are. Okay, so I picked up some product. Now we're going to start right here. Okay, very pretty. Everything is applying very seamlessly. Soft, soft application. Now, I feel like there are so many good brushes out there and Sonia G is a she, she bougie. <laughs> so do not feel obligated to purchase Sonia G brushes. You can, if you're on the market for an expensive brush, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Now I do enjoy the length of this one. This is the soft cheek, so it's a tiny bit shorter. And I do feel like this one's maybe a tiny bit more dense than this one. This one's really fluffy. And this one, it is fluffy, but not as fluffy as the classic cheek. But this is working beautifully. Okay, now we're going to talk about this one here. The one with the white bristles. Okay, so this is the Fundamental Soft Buffer. Yes the fundamental soft buffer it retails for $60 and the fundamental soft buffer makes blush application a gentle breeze the blush brush strikes the ideal balance between density movement and flexibility with a subtle domed shape you can more easily target smaller areas too the ultra soft brush is ideal for those with very sensitive skin and don't enjoy buffing Okay, a little note from Miss Sonia G. Some sheer blush formulas are best applied with a dense brush. Okay, so the springy natural bristles offer just enough stiffness to build up stubborn sheer powders while still feeling comfortably soft on the skin. The sturdy handle is made from delicate yet durable walnut wood. Finished without lacquer so you can see the grain and feel the wood. Um, it was previously released as the Phase 2 brush. And this one has white Saikoho goat hair. I hope I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> okay, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it. I purchased mine through Beautylish. I don't know if there's another place where you can order Sonia G brushes from. If you know, let, let us know down below. So even though it says this is a blush brush, I know, I read that, I see it. I'm going to attempt to use this as a bronzer brush. Um, it might be a tiny bit short, but we'll see. Maybe this one will be a better like contouring brush. I don't know, but I'm on the search for that perfect bronzer brush. I haven't found her, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm going to use this little trio from Hourglass. Um, it's just the ambient lighting palette and diffused edit. The luminous bronze light and apply this bronzer. It is definitely like dense. Oh, it's very soft. I prefer smaller brushes for my bronzer because I can be more precise with my application. Very rarely do you see me use a huge bronzer brush. I think the biggest I'll go is this one. Any, I even feel like this one's a tiny bit too big for my personal liking. I don't use big bronzer brushes. So for me, a size like this could be perfect. But so far, this is actually applying this bronzer beautifully. I think it's doing a perfect job. And this might just be exactly what I've been waiting for. You see that? I mean, of course, the product I'm using, which is the Hourglass bronzer, is an amazing product. But yeah, so nice. Okay, I think... I think I'm enjoying this as a bronzer brush. And last but certainly not least, and it's the cheapest one I purchased, <laughs> the Fundamental Worker L. And it retails for $35. So this is the one that I almost did not purchase, but I decided 
go ahead and get it. I'm a little out of breath because I just went downstairs to go check on the kids. Okay, so tackle any makeup task with the Sonia G Fundamental Worker L. This new addition to the Fundamental series features dense yet flexible bristles that adopt easily for the ultimate versatility. So I believe this is like a new design, a new brush. Use it for detail work on the face, powder, setting, highlight, sculpting, or even blush, anything and everything. Part of the worker's family and designed to tackle different tasks. The sturdy handle is made from the delicate yet durable walnut wood. This is part of the updated fundamental series and it has dyed saikoho goat hair. Okay, so for this one, I purchased it and wasn't sure what I was going to try and use it for. I do have this one, which is the mini cheek, and this is the one that I typically use for highlight from my Sonia G brushes. I don't use brushes to powder my under eyes, but this seems like the perfect shape for that, but I just don't. It doesn't work for my under eyes. I need to set with a puff. So I'm thinking I can either use this as a big, huge, fluffy eye brush or highlight. So I would have a different brush for highlight or maybe even for like contouring, like to be more precise. But for today, let's use it as a highlighting brush. We're going to jump into the same Hourglass palette and I'm going to use this as a like natural kind of highlight. Pretty, 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 very soft. It is um, not as fluffy as this one. I feel like this one's a little bit more on the fluffy, airy side. And this one has a little bit more like girth to it, maybe. More bristles, or just the way it's shaped, like the brush itself. But it's working great for highlight. Yeah, I just don't know other than highlight what I would use this for. But I mean, I will keep using these brushes and I will find exactly what each brush I will use for. Because even though in descriptions and like what the brush is titled, it tells you what to use it for, right? But you have every right to use the brush however you want to, however you see suits better for your face, for your likes, for your dislikes. Okay, let me go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and then we'll end this short but quick video. All right, my lovelies, I am back. I went simple, just brow gel on my eyebrows, a tiny bit of the Ilia mascara. And for the lips, I have stripped down from MAC Cosmetics and this lipstick from Make Beauty called Equilibrium. I think for my wedding, I'm going to do like a nudie warm tone brown for my outline and then like a pinky mauve tone for the lips. I think that's the plan. Oh, and I did put some freckles. I felt like adding some freckles on. I don't know why. I just felt like the vibe I was getting from my makeup needed freckles. And so I put freckles on. The Fundamental Face Series from Sonia G. I only picked up three and not the full set. So far, I'm enjoying all three brushes. Uh, I feel like I'll probably get more use out of these two than this one, but they are all equally beautiful. Just, they worked great. I feel like she does a really good job when she actually creates brushes. And the beauty of brushes is that you can use them however way you want. Also, I will say it again, I am not a Sonia G expert. So if I say something wrong, if I say something that you feel is incorrect, be nice about it in the comments. I think out of three so far, my favorite is this one. I really enjoyed it for bronzer and I think it might become a favorite for powder bronzer. So I'm excited about that. A little update on the uh, sheer buffer brush. I love this for cream bronzer and cream contour. Beautiful brush for that. I pretty much use this almost every single time because it's just so good. Still loving that in case you were wondering. I recently did a video of all of my Sonia G brushes. I will link that below so you can check it out. And I might have to do an updated one here shortly because yeah, Sonia G, I feel like she does a good job. Are they expensive? Yes. Do you need to spend that much money on brushes? No. But if you are, you won't be disappointed. 
Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. I don't want this video to be super long just because it's only about three brushes, you know? Um, so I hope you enjoyed me demoing each one. I will keep using them and see what I end up loving them for. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here, my lovelies. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the comments, all the likes, if you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. So with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you all on the next video. Bye!